see if we can look inside of this. Today I'll show you how you can clean out your clothes dryer exhaust pipe with a leaf blower and a homemade brush snake. So the number one reason why clothes aren't drying quickly enough is there's not enough airflow through your dryer. We're having that same issue. It's taking us over two hours to dry a load of uh, laundry. And we know the dryer is good. It's eventually working. The flame's coming on. Um, that's working fine. The first thing we always check after is the lint trap. And our lint trap is here, and we clean that out every time. And we'll even vacuum in through here. We'll take this off and vacuum down in there. The next thing is the airflow uh, through the pipe. Now, you might be in the basement, and your pipe might just go right outside. You should just pull your dryer out, take the hose off, and clean that out. And I actually did that, and there was some lint in there. There was a big ball in there. So that, that's the first thing we fixed. The next thing is our dryer is located in the middle of our house. So our pipe is right here and it goes into the wall over and then it has to go all the way out 15 feet to the outside of the house. So that means there's a 90 degree bend and then another 90 degree bend and I'm pretty sure this has never been cleaned in 30 years and there's balls of uh, lint clung on that pipe so we're going to clean it out. The, the method we're going to be using is I'm going to have a leaf blower and a homemade snake. So you can go on Amazon and you can buy a specifically designed uh, brush pipe snake for your dryer vent. And it's got four foot sections of pipe and it has a brush on it. You attach it to a drill and you just ream the inside of the pipe out and all that lint comes flying out when you blow it out with a leaf blower. I'm gonna be doing the same thing except I didn't wanna buy a $50 brush. So I decided to make my own. And what I came up with was a pipe snake for a toilet, which I already had. And for bristles, I just used some zip ties. So here's how I made that. Okay, this is uh, what I've made. It's 11 of the pink zip ties and six of the smaller red ones. And I just uh, zip tied them right on there as tight as I could. And I tried to get uh, a good uh, circular pattern. And then attached to the drill, and you can see when I spin this, I'll be able to use it just like the other one. And one last thing is I put some tape on this metal here because I don't want to damage the inside of the pipe. So I just wanted to soften that up so it's not metal on metal. And I'll just take some uh, wire cutters and I'm going to try it first full length. And if this uh, doesn't work, I'll, then I'll snip them down to the actual diameter of the, the pipe. So maybe I'll cut them all to this length here. And before you begin, you want to make sure you unplug the dryer and disconnect it from the gas. Um, luckily, I have a shutoff right here. So I was able to disconnect it with a pipe wrench, but I shut the gas off this way. Get, this means on, this way is off, so I have it shut off. So I have the brush I made, and I'm actually going to hook the leaf blower up at this end, and then I'll go outside and use the brush from the inside and get all that dust to fly out because... This makes a right a 90 degree bend down and then out, and I don't want to have to fish this from this end. I'm just going to do the straight shot in from outside. I'll show you what I mean about the pipe. It makes those two bends. So here's the inside of that pipe. You can see it bends once, and then it goes down and bends again. Well, change of plans. Uh, I thought I was going to take this off. These screws are on there. They've, probably, they've been on there for 30 years and they're caulked over and painted over, so they're not coming out. So I'm just going to put the brush up underneath and shoot it in. And I'm going to try to stick the camera in there right now and see if I can see any lint in there. Um, it doesn't look too clogged here at the end. Um, I'm thinking all the lint and the dust are going to be far down where it makes that bend, so that's what we're really going to try to get the brush into.
seems to be working great. Might want to wear a mask. Balls like this. I think I have everything I can get from this side. Now I'm going to go to the other side and loosen that up and then blow everything out. But there's plenty of dust I got. You can see all that dust. as far as I could with this with the leaf blower and should flush everything out. Okay, that was it. Um, it didn't really take very long. Um, one thing I will give to the brush, the, the brush you buy on Amazon, it, it says the bristles are in a spiral pattern. You do it clockwise and it will drag itself through the pipe. One issue I had with this homemade one is I really had to kind of push it and get it through the pipe. It wasn't pulling itself through like the other brush might. Um, I'm glad I put something to protect it because I didn't want to poke a hole or anything in this pipe. Um, but it seemed to do a really good job with the zip ties. But you really did have to kind of force it through and twist it to to get around those 90 degree bends. And again, this isn't rocket science. You are cleaning lint out of a pipe. All you need is airflow to blow it out and something to agitate it, something to loosen that lint from, that's stuck on that pipe for years and years. But overall, I know I got a lot of dust out checking it out at the outside. Um, so hopefully it won't take so long when we dry our clothes. Let me know what you think, thanks. And everybody wants to see the before and after of the pipe when it's cleaned out, so here's what it looks like after. Of the pipe. Okay, and here is the after of the inside of the pipe from the outside. You can see all the dust and sticks and everything they got in there. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.